啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Topless Mountain, where I completed Wave Nine off screen just so that we could progress a little bit faster through the series. I did manage to buy another building, and as you can see, I have opened. We're going to pause this. I have opened um, another building. I have built a toilet and a staff room, which we are going to open. Um, we had fifty patients on the last round. We have fifty-five on this. Horde wave that's coming through. What we would like to do is move. Uh, we are going to move. Uh, oops, that was frustrating. Can we? There. We are going to move treatment rooms over to this building um, so that we can get them out of the way um, and make room over here. Not that we have the money. Um, to do anything with this at the moment uh, we'll pop that there um, all other treatment at the moment only this is being used a lot of these rooms are treatment only um, so we'll probably move them as well um, we have this room there we go uh, let's move this new treatment room there it is uh, let's grab our jab master so we're going to pull all this out as well all, all, all the treatments all the treatments um, and we are only using this as treatment we're not using it for anything else so we're going to pull this over here also um, and same with the psychiatry room we're actually only using this for treatment at the moment so we are going to pull this over also and I believe it's the same actually with the ward we are only using this for treatment indeed we are so I'm going to move this over as well um, a typical <laughs> let's pop it there shall we we'll, po we'll pop it there um, okay we can't cool that space at the moment uh what we would like to do i think um let's see here we are going to move this and we will sink it uh back here i think there we go um yeah uh, i think that this should be moved closer to everything that we are doing over here um, let's pop pop that there okay a bit messy a bit messy um, what we could do is move these over to here that might be nice we'll move these over to here there we go a bit of entertainment too um, and it's really warm over here not a great deal that we can do just at the moment let's uh, put a couple of bennies down from over here we can grab them can't we and make good use of them there we go but we actually we've got no money so mind you we could pull this over it's probably not a terrible idea yeah, these chairs in case uh, anybody sits down over there uh, this doesn't really matter uh, we could probably uh, move this over uh, we might move that to here um, and this one doesn't really matter either so maybe we could do something useful with this maybe over here okay not not too bad um, I'm thinking that because we want to get some more GP offices in that is absolutely a, a thing. Um, do you know what? We will leave that there. And I think we'll move this over to here. Um, I just think we've got some bennies here. What we'll do, these haven't fared very well at all. So we'll, we'll get rid of these, I think. And what we'll do, oh no, we can't. We don't have the money. That's fine. We won't replace them just yet then. <laughs> so we're interested in getting some more GP offices. Uh, we've got enough GPs trained for, well, technically two more, but one more so that we've got a spare. Um, but yeah, here they come. So it's a horde of 50 um, that are sprinting now. Look at them, they're like ants. 
piling up reception. The staff are now going to need to sort themselves out into their respective buildings. Indeed they are. Now I'm going to have to start coming over to here. And the queues are piling up. Now we do have four assistants actually, but we don't, I can't afford to put in another placement here, but maybe we should be doing that. Maybe we should be doing that. So we would love, absolutely love. Right, you should probably be on break. You shouldn't be. Um, they're okay, aren't they? I think, I think this is okay. Look at these cues. <laughs> this is, I like this. So the clown clinic um, came up during the last wave, clown, needing the clown clinic. Um, I'm not sure there was any others. I think we already had the rooms. So I think we're only behind on the clown clinic, I think, for rooms at the moment. Uh, oh, no, fracture ward. That's it. The fracture ward came up last round as well. But of course... You know, I, I purchased this, so there's going to be uh, no money for that, that's for sure. We did a little bit of training. Nothing too crazy. But we did do a bit of training. We, we're seeing to them. Trying to get them through here as quickly as possible. I know that we can't treat him, but we're going to keep the clowns around anyway because we can earn a little money through here um, if we could have if we had the money to build another GP's office we would do it but alas we don't so there we are um, it could be a while I suppose before we have any oh no look we already do because we've got this psychiatry emergency down here but fracture ward but no real way of being able to deal with it can we deal with wave 10? It's a big question, to be honest. Will we be getting one star at the end of this episode? Or not? It's hard, to, it's hard to say. So it looks like the reception has largely done their job. We are now on to uh, crowding the GPs. They have large sum each. I would love to be able to have another one just to... To reduce it a little bit but there we are we can't have that uh, it's not it's not possible let's pop this here when they start going off for treatment yeah we should start seeing money come in cure 10 patients yeah I think we can do that we should be able to do that We've just started this way. Fracture ward. There we go. Definitely clown clinic and fracture ward uh, are the rooms of it, are the rooms of interest. The clown clinic. If we go to treatments, let's see here. So the clown clinic is twenty thousand. The fracture ward is thirteen. So the fracture ward is preferable because um, it can do a variety of illnesses and is cheaper. So uh, fracture ward would probably get built before the clown clinic at this rate. Um, but my priority really is another GP office if I can. How many of you are heading over to here? I don't know. I do have a patient going into psychiatry, which is great. Look, we have somebody in the pool room. So it is happening and the staff are making their way over here. We've got ward staff making their way over because we do have somebody. Yep, patients waiting for the ward. Excellent. So patients are coming over here and so are staff. It's fantastic. They're filtering to the right places, which is just wonderbar. Uh, oh, a ghost has showed up. A ghost has showed up. Can you deal with that, please? Thank you very much. I think it is haunted, yes. I think it is. <laughs> God, look at this. It's doing so well. Okay, repaired the front. Repaired the front. 
I have received the latest lyrical opus by obscure out nicely. poet Tobias Dirge, who had the audacity to submit it for my Sir Nigel review Come segment. Along. Well, Mr. Dirge, I would urge Dodge. to purge our county of this execrable volume. Rhyming is not a <laughs> right, it's a privilege. We really need another GP office, and we just cannot afford to build one. It's like 13,000 clown clinic. No. Don't think we're going to be doing it this time, are we? <laughs> no, this, right? Oh, that, that, that's football crazy. There will be football crazy. Oh, look at his, look at his shirt. It's amazing. <laughs> the pest control is amazing. Come on, let's uh, knock the... Oh, dear. Oh, it looks like we might have killed quite a few. <laughs> Jeez. Can we get all this cleared up? Can you deal? Yeah, you can deal with the, the ghost. That's great. Uh, fool's Mold. Brilliant. Which is the injection room. We've got the room to deal with that, which is brilliant. If only we could be able to look, keep plunging into debt. I mean, we are making a profit. But, um, yeah, it's because I built this whole extra building. But we needed it. We absolutely needed it. It had to happen. Come along, Wiggy. You probably won't like it. If we're being completely honest with ourselves. Uh, yeah, and, we, and the thing is, is this emergency here is football crazy. And he's not very good at dealing with football crazy. Uh, if we look at illnesses. Uh, football crazy look we've had six ineffective this is oh, i can't take that emergency it's surgery required oh my goodness uh yeah it's just not it's just not sensible but what we could really do with is getting him trained up into psychiatry level two which you know he's not kicking around here is it not kicking around here Okay. Because uh, the longer they're in these queues, you see, their health goes down and down and down. What is this? Oh, we did it! Excellent. We cured, cured those patients. That's that's fantastic. Money is getting quite low, isn't it? It is, I know. If I could hire a doctor with a level two psychiatry, I'd be really pleased. I can't, look. it's just not happening. So I'm going to have to train this doctor in psychiatry too. It's really, we really need to be doing that. In this edition of the History of Two Point County, we are looking at one eyed boy. Our biggest fatality is Screwball. In Hawksport. It is named as many six fatalities know, and six ineffectives. It's not great, is it? Lighthouse keeper. What you may not know is that he lost his left eye in a high stakes game of snap. Yeah, we need to be looking at this. Screwball. But trying to find the money to do the research to upgrade this machine, you know, it's better to upgrade this member of staff, I think, at this at this moment in time. I think you should probably go and have a rest. Because they are curing a bunch of them, to be fair. Wiggy's in the house. He's probably going to be a bit annoyed, though. It's fair enough, Wiggy, it's fair enough. <laughs> Fratch award required. Uh, I suppose. Can we afford the Fratch award now? Like, probably a small one. We could probably afford one traction bed, you know? We could probably do this. Um. Yeah, with with this, and then a traction bed. 
and then that's it. <laughs> uh, what we should probably do, I mean, it's better than nothing. If we, something like that, just so that we've got something happening. Oh, we can't even afford that. Blimey. And now I can't hire any staff to work in it. I can't even afford her. But we might be able to in a minute. Come on. Give us some money. Give us oh, oh. Oh. Come on. So close. So close. Yes. I'm thinking she can be our fracture ward nurse. There we go. You could work in there. Yeah. You could. There you go. It's your department. <laughs> you can deal with one patient at a time. Uh, right, so this is getting... This queue's got pretty big. Okay, we're getting them through the GPs. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So now, he's probably busy though right now, isn't he? He's got stuff going on. What if we spent this money getting one GP to level three? How much would that be? <gasps> it's all our money, but I think we should do that. Get one GP up to level three. Lemon soul discovered, okay. Which is DNA lab. We've got the room for that. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Because if the, the more, the better the GPs are, the less that goes to further diagnosis. If they do go to further diagnosis, they go to the best diagnosis room for their illness. You know? Um, no, he still doesn't like the place. Well, you know, I, I, I can only do so much. I can only do so much. Um, you know, these things happen. Let's put you to the bottom there. Where are you? You're going back to the GP's office. So we're having trouble with this one, aren't we? 36%. Is cardio good for this 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 guy I don't know hmm well fluid analysis would be another really great room uh, diagnostic room to build and we do have three diagnostic nurses let's pause this a minute how much is fluid analysis 20,000 is exactly what we got with 58 to spare <laughs> uh, three by three okay Fluid analysis can go here. Um, we don't really have, we can't afford to cool the room. <laughs> uh, I think we'll put up. Okay, look, if we get this going, um, because, yeah, look, we'll get some money in. So now we could um, get the chair. Oh, I mean, we can get this too. So we'll put, pop that in. And pop that there. Get all the gubbins in for the room. If I could just aim it right. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Good. So there's that. Now, I also think that we should deal with this space out here because this is no good. It's quite it's quite hot, isn't it? Um, in fact, while we've got a bit of money, shall we just deal with this heating issue? Just deal with this th these thermals just a smidge. Here. Excellent. How much are traction beds? Three grand each. Or should we get... Should we get some in there? There we go. So we've got, we've got some additional traction beds. Can we hire any... Ooh. Terribly dull. That is such a shame. I, ca I can't believe it. I could cry. <laughs> I could cry. Um... 
So this psychiatrist then, do you know what? We might risk, how many patients have we got left in this wave? 11, let's have a look, patients. No one needing psychiatry at the moment. What if they do end up needing it? They, I mean, they might end up needing it. Only jumbo you know, medical solutions guarantees that you die anywhere else. <laughs> we take jumbo. Oh no! Jumbo Bad weather. And jumbo plus members are eligible for experimental treatments. Jumbo medical solutions. Okay. Fork it over. Fork it over. Twenty-four hours a day. Let's get all these repaired. Okay. Really do with getting another nurse on here, I think. No, on here. If we put this up and we bring this one down, then we can spread them out a bit, right? Uh, let's see. Staff. Then what we could do is split them all. I think that's what we're going to have to do. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Um, yeah. We've got a problem with this machine over here. We've already got... Do you know what? Let's get an upgrade on that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, do you know, we've, we've got the cure rates just... It's okay. We're doing okay. How much is the clown clinic? The clown clinic. I went past it. 20. Shall we quickly build it? Can we? Oh, I don't. Can we even fit it in here? It's four by four. Not that. Oh, no. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Um. No, because both those rooms are working together. Okay, we'll have to put the clown clinic over here. Treatment clown clinic is going to have to come over here. It is. Right. And then at least this room is built. Do you know what I mean? At least then this is built. Pop that in there like that. Excellent. Uh... If we move these up, I'd like to get one more in. Okay. Um, and I think it's always important to have a cannon. The cannon is stupendous fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. And I just want to cool things down a little bit. And then we need uh, the usual stuff. Um, do you know what? We might put um, the chair next to the pineapple. Um, where's the drinking fountain? There it is. Okay. And chair. Excellent. Oh, look, that's not got its certificate. We need certificates. Certificate. Certificate. Oh my god, it's so close. Look at it. Maybe a clown poster. Amazing. Right. So we've got the clown clinic. Yes. We've managed to squeeze in the clown clinic. <laughs> so we don't need to turn the clowns away anymore. We do not need to. Uh, so the the thing, the big thing that's on my mind now, of course, is to train that doctor into um, psychiatry level two. Uh, here's what is on my mind. Here's what is on my mind right now. Um, yeah. Here's. I don't know how much it'll be, but it'll be at least fifteen, probably twenty. Uh, we've got six left to go. Hopefully, this won't fall below you can see that we could be doing a lot better could be doing a lot better but i think we might get our first star which technically would complete the dlc 
six it's always the first star of the last hospital that uh, that tends to to complete it so when we get this star we would have completed um the story of uh, pebbly island dlc so i'm really looking forward to seeing the end of the story but we will of course stick around in this hospital and uh, keep working through the waves until we get to um until we get to star level three we might skip the odd wave though just to try and keep the episodes down um on this particular hospital because uh you know it's already taken us a week look to get through <laughs> to one star and i did skip a wave um so yeah but I i'm really looking forward to it i'm really looking forward to it uh star for it gets star from to level four star from to level four i'd like to be able to select it okay items oh, i've got no money i've got no money i can't do it oh my god Look, pink flamingo what about would you like it's really expensive but I really like it. Look how snazzy it is. It is really snazzy. Um, but of course, the easiest way to do this... It's expensive, isn't it? They are actually expensive. We don't have the money. Ooh, we could put another Don't rug in. We could put in another rug here. Should put a different rug in. Okay, excellent. <laughs> we could put in one award just behind here. Look, sneak it out there. <laughs> Sneak in the awards. Sneak them in. I've always said electricity was a bad thing. To all those who scoffed at me, spare the thought for the poor souls in a hospital currently under siege from an electrical. The money's storm. going to slow down now because, of course, there's hardly anybody in the hospital. Don't think we'll be able to do that. Let's get rid of it. So, what's happening? This still somebody stuck here no this is outrageous will you sort them out wow patience let's see yeah look at you and then we've also got cardio somebody stuck on cardio blimey here's a bottleneck isn't it um Let's see, would we be able to train them in three before the next wave starts? Uh, uh, give it a go. As we can see in them, this, this Aubrey here is, is the most dire. Right, she has loose jowls. This, um, is very difficult to treat is there anybody in pharmacy right it looks like they're heading to pharmacy right now we're probably going to kill this lady probably going to kill them what are you psychiatry there is somebody there we go yeah get over there get over there do it we are probably going to kill this lady loose jowls is really difficult right the neck and lower face have become loose and need to be pharmaceutically retightened before they f fall off caused by talking nonsense chewing on prunes or a gasp heavy daily routine heavy a heavy daily routine gasp heavy <gasps> gasp heavy but it's really difficult 70% See what happens here. Warning, staff secure patients before securing themselves. Oh, she did it. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. There it is! Star level one! Woo! We did it! We did it! Uh, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. It is clear to me that any simpleton would understand that this piece of Pontian mythology was not described literally. I am deeply concerned that it should fall to me to inform you that when the legend speaks of reinvigoration, it speaks figuratively and not of a magic potion. <laughs> All the same, you have found it for some reason. Uh, enjoy your pretty, albeit totally ordinary, bit of water. <laughs> 
uh, continue to muck about in some ruins for more rewards or return to the mainland to get back to work at Tarquin Foxbridge. 15,000 doubloons, 100 kudosh, we've unlocked the screwball poster whoop, 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 and a wicker sofa. <gasps> Completed it! A little cutscene. <laughs> oh, beautiful. We've received some reports of an earthquake which has caused particular <gasps> damage to one of the county's hospitals. Look at it! This is why one must never be without insurance. And I heartily recommend Swindles Insurance. Swindles Insurance. Oh, paid me to endorse them. <laughs> so look, we need to complete 20 waves to get to um, start level 2. That's a lot of waves, that's 10 waves, so I probably will cut a, a bunch of them out uh, just so that we can get to the end of it faster. But there we are, uh, the Fountain of Youth. Um, shall we see if there is a cutscene? There is. Look at this. If you had told me that we'd find the treasure we so eagerly sought, only to find that a myth largely predicated on hearsay and dusty old bits of paper wasn't totally factual or literal, I'd have assumed that I'd be disappointed, humiliated even. Instead, I confess, I'm rather tickled. I did like it here. <laughs> Lovely views and so on. There's a lesson to be learned, I'm sure, but I'd rather move on immediately to something else. Now, Giles, let's get home and start work on that time machine. <laughs> Wiggy Silverbottom and Giles. <sighs> Yay, it's so lovely. We did it. So, as I say, we will continue uh, on Topless Mountain. I will skip waves so that we can gain the stars if anything big happens, of course. Uh, we will cover it in the episodes uh, but we're getting very close to completing like 100% completing uh, the big uh, this is not the Bigfoot DLC the Pebbly Island DLC it, it'll be so it's so cool and then we'll be able to come back over here we'll be working on on Blighton yes we will we'll be working on Blighton so excellent very very excited uh, yeah so I shall see you in the next episode where we will start working on star two of topless mountain thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via patreon the cooler you are the harder i work which means even more shizwa 